uh, this is black. This is kaleidoscope. Uh, it's uh, a project. Um, it's uh, 70 children and youngsters uh, from uh, 25 countries. Uh, all of them live in uh, Bergen. Uh, they have come to Bergen as ref refugees, a lot of them. And um, we make performances uh, consisting of uh, uh, song and dance that these kids have brought with them from cultures and countries all over the world. And we put this together with Norwegian cultural music, and uh, the result is uh, all these different roots uh, that uh, is united in an uh, artistic expression that represents our uh, different pasts and our uh, common future. Uh, the 22nd of July uh, this year, uh, the Norwegian terrorist uh, Anders Bering Breivik uh, killed uh, 77 innocent people uh, out of the idea that uh, diversity is a threat. Uh, that makes it very important to discuss uh, diversity, uh, both as we find it in the multicultural society, of course, but also uh, in general. Uh, what is it that happens when differences meet? And what you can be sure of happens when differences meet is something new. And what you can always also be sure of is that this meeting between differences creates friction. And friction creates energy. And this energy, as all other energies, can help us and it can harm us. And that this energy harms us, that's something that we hear of every single day, all the time. But that this energy that arises from the meeting of differences always has been and always will be humankind's most important source for learning and for developing, that's something that we don't hear a lot about. Even though I think it's obvious, I mean, it's, it's a principle of life. Uh, we know it from biology, uh, whether it's the difference of the genes that, uh, that makes us stronger. Uh, we know it from science, where you have the thesis and the antithesis, and you have these two differences joined in the synthesis that bring us one step ahead. And we see it very cl clearly when these uh, children and youngsters are performing at stage. Uh, we see, of course, how obvious it is uh, that we are equal, but also what a blessing it is that we are different. Um, another very important uh, aspect of uh, Kaleidoscope is uh, that it's an art project. Uh, it's not a social project. We don't bring these kids to stage to help them. We bring them to stage because we need them. Because these kids are the only ones who can do what they do. And uh, even though uh, this uh, project uh, has no social ambitions in the first place, it has a lot of social consequences. And it even has the consequences that a social project does not have. And the reason for that is that a social project uh, implies the question, what do you lack? But an art project implies the question, what do you have? And that's a big difference when you are going to re relate to other people. And that may, might also be the reason why more than 60,000 people, a male knee in this small city of Bergen, has bought expensive tickets to watch these kids on stage. Uh, I think I, I would very much like to, to show you a little film about uh, uh, Kaleidoscope. Som, som på en måte gjør det sterkt. Vi blir så inspirert av de sangene. Og jeg ser at det gir disse barn og unge så mye. Uh, 
deltakarna, aktörerna i fagespel är er ju i huvudsak barn och unge från nygårdsskola som antingen går på nygårdsskola eh för invandrarbarn eh nu eller har gått tidigare. Det är er barn från cirka 8 till 20 år. Med utgångspunkt i de barn och ungdomarna har vi då laget en koncept eller en föreställning som vi kallade fagespel. Eh, ett musikalsk möte genom eh, sång, dans, rytmer och musicering. Barna och eh, ungdomen kommer ifrån hela världen. De kommer till Norge och de kan inte nog norsk. De kan inte språka. Og det som är er speciellt också med dessa aktörerna är er att de är er valt ut på grundlag av några speciella talenter. Altså, de har ingen förutsättningar i utgångspunkten för att stå på scen och göra någonting det är er helt allmänliga barn och ungdomar. Selvfølgelig i forhold til fagespill så er det flott att ha de sangene som også løfter projektet som som Ali, som vi vet at hver gang han synger, så, så, så känner vi det på ryggen, og tårene kommer fram. komma med stoff så vi är er ju helt öppna. Vi visste ju inte vad den här nya föreställningen skulle vara. Ingenting. Vi sa vi hade lust till att fokusera på det och det och det. Har det sanger till oss. Så den här upplevelsen när en av de ungarna står där och synger till dig en av de melodierna och så bara hör du, ah, det är er ju det är er helt fantastisk. Så vi bara upplever, så det är er ju en skatt, det är er ju guld, det är er ju en fin som jag har hört. Så och så kommer det från en eller annan liten som nätter bara kom till landet som har tagit den melodien med sig från från sitt land på den andra sidan av kloden. Så, så ja, du är helt rörd bara att tänka på det. <laughs> Så det är så här småtingen som nästan inte kan ett ord norsk. De synger ju nynorsk så Ivar Åsen hade jublat i graven alltså. Så 
Samora er en um, nydelig liten jente som kommer fra Burma. Hun kom hit nå i sommer. Hva er det nå? Altså, hun er bemerkelsesverdig uh, lite barn, altså. Uh, og med en utrolig sånn styrke, altså en sånn indre styrke. Hon ska ju öppna hela föreställningen är ju plan alene på scen med den sången Vi är nog välkommen med ära. Och hon har ju på mode världens trygghet och och rausthet och hon är en perfekt värd. Hon har roen. Det er jo en utrolig sterk form for bekreftelse, da. Altså når det sitter 400-500 mennesker og, og jubler for deg i en sal, så er jo det en veldig sterk form for bekreftelse, må man kunne si. Det jeg er helt sikker på, det er at de barna som får lov å være med på fagespill, de eh, får selvtillit. Og de får en respekt i forhold til å bli møtt med respekt i forhold til sin egen kultur. Og at de kan stå fram og de blir sett. De står på en scene og blir sett. Jeg tror det er noe som de, de vil bære med seg videre. Vi blir til det som om, omverden definerer oss som. Det, 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 det er sånn det vi laget. Og, og, og når du da forteller folk du er en ressurs, så blir det en ressurs. Det er egentlig utrolig enkelt. Uh, it's, um, it's the story about what happens when differences meet with a willingness to embrace. And that willingness is very important to make meetings, these meetings successful. Uh, the other thing uh, with uh, this uh, project Kaleidoscope is that it's based on the old uh, social ritual um, exchange of presence. Uh, in Kaleidoscope, we give each other the very best of ourselves and the very best of our cultures. And because we are allowed to give, we are allowed to feel strong. And that's a precondition for, for meaningful encounters. That we are allowed, everybody in the meeting is allowed to feel strength. Because when we feel strength, we feel assured. And when we feel assured, uh, we can be generous and we can bring out the best in ourselves and each other. This <laughs> is black. <laughs> this is 16-year-old uh, Yannick from Congo. Uh, in spite of uh, war, traumas, he has just um, sung a very difficult song, and because of these traumas, his concentration is very, very hard. He has just sung a very difficult song, 
without a single mistake in front of a full house in Norway's most distinguished theater. And then he does something that is very common to do on a football field, but very uncommon to do uh, on the stages of fine arts. He lifts his hands in jubilation. And every time I look at this picture, I'm thinking about this posture. Because in this posture, we, we, we put ourselves totally open. And therefore, it can mean two totally opposite things. It can, uh, in, it can express uh, that we are unconquerable. And it can express that we are conquered. Because Yannick has done this uh, movement before. He has lifted his arms over his head before. And uh, at that time, it uh, symbolized uh, surrender, and it saved his life. Uh, this time, in some way, it also uh, symbolizes surrender. But it symbolizes surrender to something completely, completely different. It, it, it's, it's surrender to, to opportunity, uh, to self-assurance, and to strength. And maybe it saves him this time, too. And maybe it saves us. Because this was our reaction to what happened the 22nd of July, uh, the attack on our society. We didn't do like this. We didn't do like this. We did like this. This were, was our, our answer to violence as a society. Openness, freedom, and most important, the willingness to dare to be vulnerable. And also, the willingness to embrace. Thank you for listening.